Sixth grade, module five, lesson 15, classwork. Exercise, cube. Nets are two-dimensional figures that can be folded into three-dimensional solids. Some of the drawings below are nets of a cube, others are not cube nets. They can be folded, but not into a cube. So a net is basically just a two-dimensional figure. So all of these are nets. Like if we look at A, it's a two-dimensional figure. And then when you fold it along all of those lines, it turns into a three-dimensional figure. So you fold it up into, um, we want to see which ones fold up into a cube. So A says, experiment with the larger cutout patterns provided. So your teacher should have provided you with some larger cutout patterns of all of these. A through T, so you can actually try and fold them up and see, does it fold into a cube? Does it not fold into a cube? So shade in each of the figures above that can fold into a cube. I'm gonna go through and shade the ones that will fold into a cube. I hope that you actually do experiment with them and try them out. Uh, I can't really show that on here. So I'm just gonna go through and shade the ones and then write the letters of fill in B and C with the letters that can be folded and those that can't be folded. So hopefully you're just using this to check your own work after you have already tried folding them all into cubes. So I'm shading the ones that can fold into cubes. So those are the ones that fold into the cubes. The others do not. So if we were to list them, write the letters that can be folded into a cube, we have A, B, C, E, G, I, L, M, O, P, and T. The letters that cannot be folded into a cube would be all of the other ones. It is D, F, H, J, K, N, Q, R, and S. So again, please actually try folding these into cubes and understanding what makes a net turn into.